YouTube Massive, what is going on guys? What's the good word? It's your boy, Future Tomorrow, back with another vid. And today we're actually looking at the Saucony Jazz O Premium Luxe Pack. There's one shoe missing from the pack that I don't have at the moment. It's the dark gray, light gray colorway. Um, you can obviously see the beautiful color blocking that is this pack. I believe that it's derived from the Anteater collaboration that was done earlier this year. I was not able to get my hands on those. They are on eBay for some ridiculous, ridiculous prices. I do believe if these had actually had a name attached to them as far as they were an Anteater collaboration or a collaboration with some other shop, they would have already been completely sold out everywhere and they would have been on eBay for ridiculous prices. But these are general releases. They were first released at the beginning of October in the UK and possibly worldwide or other stores. And then later on, well not worldwide because later on towards the third week of October which we're in right now um, these are now starting to pop up at your local Saucony stockists in the US you can get them on eBay for as low as $80 that's one of the reasons guy why guys I actually have three of them because what you would pay for two of these shoes you would actually um, just kind of pay if you pay like $80 for two um, so that's 160 it's the price of a pair of Jordans it's not the price of a pair of Kobe's or LeBron's you would actually have to pay more so all three of these actually it offers more diversity if you will um, obviously since there's different colorways you can match it up with different fits different gear whereas if you have just one pair of Jordans Kobe's LeBron's you're kind of stuck with one fit and I f more than too often see people uh, forcing a pair of shoes if you will on their look which means that they're basically wearing this one pair of shoes that they have or this second pair of shoes whatever it may be with an outfit that just doesn't match just because they absolutely love the shoe and you know what at the end of the day nothing is wrong with that if that's your style that's your mode do you fam don't worry about whatever people think um, always do what you like pick up what you like I like these so I picked up three of them because again they were fairly cheap now Let's get into the shoe. Enough of my blabbing. You guys are probably tired of hearing of that. Um, guys, the Saucony Jazz was first introduced to Saucony in 1981. This is not one of, unlike some other brands, this is not, to my knowledge, one of the shoes that Saucony ever put in the vault. It's an extremely popular model in the Saucony lineup, so they've always kept making these. But as far as the premium materials on the Saucony Jazz, I believe this is only the second time they've done this, the first time being the Saucony Anteater. Now, the majority of the shoe guys, hence Lux and Premium being in the name or the pack, utilizes suede, premium suede throughout the shoe. Um, starting on each shoe guys from the front of the toe box, it's a contrasting color to the three quarter back part of the shoe. So again, suede in the front here, premium. You guys can already see my finger marks all over the front of the toe box if I pass my finger back over that. Um, whatever direction my finger passes in the material would actually um, react to just because again, premium materials, premium perforated um, suede in the front there as well. Moving up from the toe box to the entire, again, upper and back of the shoe you have um, premium suede again this obviously is the dark navy again wherever I pass my finger it would react um, going up the shoe guys the tongue of the shoe actually is the only place that utilizes a nylon mesh you guys can see right there the shoe does come or each pair of shoes does come with two pairs of laces or two sets of laces um, a tonal pair which on this one it's the blue and then a gray to actually match the gray right here um, Moving up to the very top of the tongue, you guys can see that there's Saucony Jazz right there. Um, the sock liner guys utilize like a nylon cloth material, you guys can see that right there. And that's what the back uh, material of the tongue actually is as well. So that's the only place that utilizes, uh, in my opinion, um, materials that are not premium which is the sock liner and the actual tongue of the shoe now the side panels on some sites you're gonna see them mention a nylon panel is actually incorrect um, the panel is actually premium suede and you have the Saucony logo or Saucony symbol on both sides of the shoe. Now another quick bit of history guys, Saucony was first founded in Pennsylvania in the USA in 1898. It was founded along the Saucony Creek. That's what this logo or symbol that you actually see on any Saucony shoe is and the three dots guys what these three dots or circles represent is along the Saucony Creek there's three notably large boulders and any Saucony shoe again you see 
that's what these three dots represent, those large boulders. So that's the symbol, that's the logo, that's the history where it actually came from. I can get deeper into the history of Saucony when it was sold and to what company it was sold. If somebody's interested and you want to ask that, but that's a whole other conversation. So this, guys, is the premium lever. You have that on both sides. If we turn to the back of the shoe, we can see the premium suede from the three-quarter part of the shoe extends to the back. Top, you have your premium lever right there very very nice you have your Saucony logo sitting on the top right there moving to the midsole of the shoe guys this is a dual density foam midsole and by dual density you can see that the midsole is actually like a double layer and it's thicker than the uh, midsole you would find on most other shoes and this would obviously or should tell you that you would receive a really really nice response uh, from the midsole or from running in this particular shoe so definitely comfortable as most soccer these are I mean really really nice details and good to go there but one other thing I should have mentioned before too as well insole of the shoe Saucony and Saucony logo right in there on the insole if we turn the shoe over guys uh, you have a gray on this particular colorway you have a gray rubber outsole this is the XT600 rubber that this is made out of you guys can hopefully see the level of traction that we have there that's what that looks like and guys this is the gray um, and navy pair next we have the camel and tan pair the only thing guys that's different about this shoe again premium materials throughout mesh in the same area that I mentioned you would find mesh and that cloth liner along the sock along the, oh, the cloth sock liner I'm sorry and since we're talking about that that's one thing I want to point out about this particular pair that's different than these two pairs or the other one that I don't have the sock liner on this one guys is actually olive and does not obviously obviously it matches up with the entire color blocking of the shoe but it's not a color coordinated or it's not the same color as the three-quarter part of the shoe whereas on this one the blue sock liner is obviously matching the three-quarter part the red hair is obviously matching the three-quarter part but that's the only thing different about this one um, you have that olive color right there and the Saucony Jazz logo on the actual shoe is in olive as well comes with two sets of laces just like this pair um, a lighter type of uh, camel color if you will and then a tan uh, color or vice versa if you will pair of laces so you have options options galore and then the last pair guys which I think is actually one of the more popular as far as how I've seen them sold out on different sites is the red kind of pomegranate if you will uh, type of colorway very very beautiful in my opinion I mean this is the one um, the, if I could have only have owned two of them it would have actually only been these two to be quite honest with you um, I would have definitely gone with these two all day they're my two favorites out of the pack but um, yeah so this again guys comes with two sets of laces premium materials throughout everywhere I point out on these previous shoes um, again same same exact shoe you know XT, XT 600 outsole again just a different colorway um, or color version of this particular pack but really really happy overall man with the materials on this shoe and the look of the shoe this is only my second pair or pickup I'm sorry of the Saucony Jazz ever since I've really started heavily messing with Saucony I did have a, a previous pair of Saucony Jazz before but I actually uh, sold those dead stock uh, I was going to do a customization on those, ended up changing my mind, and again, glad, glad, I'm pretty glad, I'm sorry, I don't know why I can't talk, pretty glad that I sold them, because I'm definitely not selling any of these, these are definitely to me fire as is, like they don't need any customization in my personal opinion, you could obviously do whatever you want with yours, you know, if you have a cool idea for a customization, but don't need to customize anything on these, love the color blocking, these are just good to go as is. Um, let me know what you guys think about these down in the comments, if you ended up picking up any one of these, if there was something uh, detail wise that I didn't cover for you guys, um, I'll be happy to answer it if I have the answer for you. Or, and I can get to your question as soon as possible. But guys, again, don't forget to drop a comment below. Um, look to my channel if you're considering subscribing. If you like the content you see, there's different shoes that I review. I definitely have, obviously, different tastes from the majority of sneakerheads, sneaker collectors, whatever uh, terms you want to use to describe yourself or to describe other persons. Uh, my taste is definitely more runners all day. That's what I particularly love to do. I love shoes that are very comfortable on my feet. I don't play basketball because of an injury in high school um, way back in the day. Just not... Not that I'm not athletic, but yeah, it's just not my thing in general. So I 
don't, usually don't tend to pick up a lot of uh, basketball shoes. So this is what it is, guys. This is my review. Uh, again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if this video has been helpful at all or you like the content. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Future Tomorrow. I'll leave a link to that. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can easily find it. But guys, thanks so much for watching and I'm out. Peace.